Once upon a time, there was a man named Smallish Beans. Hello! He was a very short man. Hey, wait a minute! And had absolutely no friends. What? But I do have- He was a massive loser. There's no other way of putting it. What, what the heck is going on? This man had some weird ideas. Well, that is true, I guess. And they all sucked. Come on! Man, be nice! Luckily, he had some great people leaving him nice notes with good ideas. So he used those instead. The end. Wow, what a wonderful story! So, we're on 1.14 today, where we will be building a house using only blocks that you can find underwater. Now, a lot of these blocks can't actually survive without being underwater, as this just happens. Oh, that's sad. So it looks like we're going to be building in an ocean biome, if we can find one. You know what? This will do. This is quite nice. There are many other blocks other than just coral that are found underwater as well, though. These are the majority of them here. Which means we don't really have many colour options apart from the coral. And even with the coral, there's only five colours. So we're going to have to build a cyan and rainbow colour house. Interesting. Oh well, let's get to work. So I think we're going to have an underwater section. And then we're also going to have a section above water here. And we're going to try and make a funky base that has multiple entrances. One underwater, one above surface, and then one with a bridge to land as well. I guess we're going to be building the main thing out of prismarine. Because otherwise it's either dirt, clay, kelp, or sand. Ew. Maybe I'll use the kelp though. You stack this, you can. That is quite an interesting texture. Although it annoys me how it's off center. I wish they'd made this too wide. We're going to use just regular old prismarine for the floor. I'm going to try and make this a sort of weird shaped building. After doing my nature house the other day, I'm quite feeling building some funky shaped houses. For example, we're going to have a weird shaped wall here. This is a very weird shaped house. Honestly, I'm just randomly placing blocks at the moment and seeing what happens. Look at that for a house shape. It kind of looks like a weird camel. Let's extend the hump as I feel like this little passageway here will be where we get to the deeper underwater part of the build. Let's use these prismarine bricks for the main colour of the outside section of the house. No world edit being used today as we're on 1.14. Makes me sad. I miss my old world edit friend. But sometimes you just gotta build in survival, whether you want to or not. It also means we can't time lapse though, which is ever so sad. Just realised I can't use glass for windows. Not sure how we're gonna deal with that underwater. There's nowhere where glass is found underwater, is there? I know there's some ruined temples that use stone bricks, and there's wood in pirate ships that are kind of underwater, but I wouldn't really class that as an underwater block. I've just googled underwater ruins, and there's lists of all the blocks that you find underwater. Chests being one of them. Purple glazed terracotta. But none of them have glass. Oh, that's so sad. All fences, so I guess underwater we're just gonna have no windows. And we'll have to make do. On the surface, we'll just have to have holes. And that's okay. I wonder why I decided to do such a big house knowing I can't use world edit. My own brain just doesn't work sometimes. Placing a roof on this thing is gonna be a nightmare. There's never way around it. A full on nightmare. I don't even know how I'm gonna do the roof if I'm honest with you. It's such a weird shape. Let's see how this works, cause it's gonna be an interesting roof. Maybe let, let's do the floor first, as that's nice and relaxing. We can just place this down, think about the ocean, all the things under the ocean. Glass not included, of course, because glass is not found under the ocean. Nothing else under the ocean that's see-through, apart from water, I guess. Can't really use water for windows, though, which is a shame. Who says you need to look out underwater and see the beautiful ocean? You can just be in your own little box, getting very claustrophobic very quickly. All right, the floor's finished, so we've got no excuses now. We have to move on to the roof. This will be one of the most awkwardly placed roofs ever. At least all the colors match nicely. That's one thing this house has got going for it. Not really hard when you're just using all the prismarine blocks, though, because they're all pretty much the same color. But the kelp is a nice addition, I feel like. I know the kelp block is crafted on a crafting table as well and not technically found under the ocean, but kelp is everywhere in the ocean, so I feel like that's okay. First roof is looking all right, look at that, very nice. Now to move on to the awkward ones. This diagonal wall, you know, I thought was quite a funky idea. In reality, it's just a bit weird and a pain in my butt. It might look cool at the end though, or it might look terrible. Either way, 
It's happening. This is this is like doing a puzzle. Okay, I think the messiest part is done. Look at that. What what a mess. But there's a roof on all around the very weirdly shaped, weirdly looking house. And that's a good thing. Luckily, we have sea lanterns to light this place up, which we're just gonna place haphazardly around. I actually do quite like the layout of the house. You walk in through here, you've got a nice big room here. Then you got the corridor off down over there. You got another room over here. Then you got another room right here. It's quite a cool layout. Just a shame that there's no windows and it looks a bit weird, but we can have window sills. So who needs windows? Am I right? Windows with no window sills is the new hype. Everyone wants this. And oh boy, does it look amazing. Wow, look at those window sills on this beautiful house. So the only real decorative block we have that you can find underground are chests. We also have sandstone stairs available to us, which means we might actually be able to decorate this place. No crafting tables, but that's not to worry because we don't need crafting. We get everything from underneath the water. We can have seats though. Look at them. And a couple of tables as well. And guess what? More chests. And you know it, more seats. Oh yeah. Did someone say gravel feature wall? Cause I heard it and look at that, whoa. And you got it, some more chests. Hey, do you know what this place needs? Some seats. Oh, I've just been using birch signs and I'm not allowed to use those. What am I doing, Joel? You don't find those underwater. Take them off quickly before it ruins the build. Oh man. That means this place is going to look even worse without the armchairs. But it's okay because we've got a sofa. Look at that beautiful sofa. And in front of that sofa, nothing. Just kidding. How about some magma blocks? Ooh, warm. Did someone say more chests? Because, oh boy, I'm sick of chests. Some windowsills inside? Yes, please. Light blue terracotta. Oh boy, we don't have enough of the blue color. Let's place some here. What a building. Okay, let's let, let's leave the decorating for now. And let's get working on the underwater section, which we'll build down here. I forgot that stairs do this annoying thing now when you place them in water. I say annoying, it's pretty cool. But for us, it's kind of annoying. So we're gonna have to use like some dirt, fill up the area which we're gonna build in. And we're gonna take this opportunity to use our blue coral. And we have to be very careful that there's always water touching the coral. Otherwise, it will start to get ugly and gray and we don't want that. So I think this will be further enough underwater. Not that we will actually be able to see that we're underwater as we can't have windows. And this is the tricky part, right? So we've got to basically make the entire house and the areas we're gonna stand in completely filled with dirt. And then we've got to place the blocks around it. So let's have a big room here and we will switch to using some purple coral blocks. A bit of pink as an outline. Maybe we'll use pink for the ceiling. There may be a way to make windows. Let me see if this will work. It's gonna kill the coral on the inside though. That's the only problem because there's no, there'll be no water touching it. No, water just flows in. Okay. Oh well, we'll just have to have no windows. Wait. <gasps> We could use sea pickles, Spock. We can have windows. I figured it out. You can just put sea pickles here. It will block it off and you can have windows. The sea pickles won't light up, but that's not a big problem. We can have windows. We've just got to have sea pickles in them. Okay, the first room is filled up with dirt. You need to put the roof on it, which will do pink coral. It's quite hard to balance the coral not dying and also trying to make these weird windows with these sea pickles. So in this next room, I'm gonna have a hole in the floor which will lead to the ocean. So you can swim out of here or swim in if you want to as well. It's another entrance or exit to the weird sea house. Loads of windows added on here now that I know I can do it. I have a feeling we're gonna have some dead coral some places which we'll need to uh, fix somehow. I hate building underwater in vanilla. The amount of dirt you have to place is ridiculous. Get out of here, fish. Come on, I'm filling this stuff in. Okay, that should be done. Let's see how this goes. We should be able to just dig out all the dirt now. Let the digging begin. We've already messed up. How's, how's that happened already? Okay, I did not do any of this side. Right, bit of a mistake, but that's okay. Oh, we forgot to do this side. That's good. Great start. Okay, let's try again. Got the prismarine floor in this bit as well. It's gonna be really dark down here. Put some lanterns in the floor, maybe. Ah, there's our first dead coral. I had a feeling some bits are gonna be like that. 
There's our first window working nicely. We can look out upon the ocean. There's another bit of dead coral. I knew there's going to be some there. And I'm okay with it. Everything else is looking pretty good. It's very drippy down here, isn't it? I guess that's because we're underwater. Moving into the yellow room. Well, yellow and red. Let's see if our hole has worked. It looks like it has. We got our windows. We got a hole to the ocean. We can come out here and swim around. Swim up into here and bam, into our home. Nice. Okay. This little area's worked really well. To make it a bit more interesting, we'll decorate this with some regular old coral. Doesn't really make it look very pretty. In fact, the whole thing underneath here is not very pretty. But to be honest, coral blocks aren't that pretty in general, in my opinion. They're nice and colourful. That's about it, really, isn't it? Kind of looks a bit weird, but you don't really see it unless you look really careful. And it looks nice from the inside, and that's what matters. And now we have to decorate this with, you guessed it, chests. What else, you ask? Sandstone stairs. Oh, yeah. Finally, all we have to make is a small little bridge which we'll use these prismarine brick slabs for. It's quite hard to make a pretty bridge without fences, but there you go. A bridge to our wonderful underwater block only house, which is filled with chests and stairs. Everything you'd want. That's going to be it for this video today, guys. I hope you did enjoy this weird requested video. Make sure to leave a like and comment if you did enjoy it. And if you love chests as much as I do, make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you another time. Goodbye.